hello. I've got a bunch of crap to open. <laughs> okay, crap may not be the best word for it. I've got some packages to open. I've been ordering some stuff and I don't even have all of it yet that I've ordered. I've been waiting. Um, I'm still waiting on some things. I've been holding stuff for about a week or so. Um, but the, st the things are kind of in my way, so I need to open them so I can put them up because I need space. So, the first thing I opened was this, and it's not from, well, I guess it is from a business, but I bought it off of someone else in a de-stash group. It's some diamond painting putty that she was de-stashing, and it's from Excuse Me Designs, but it's the putty, and I've been wanting to try some of the putty, so I saw this. And I grabbed it up. I thought, hey, why not? Let's, let's uh, jump on this opportunity. Um, so, it's still in this organza bag. And there's a couple stickers in here I can see. Here's a rainbow zebra. That's cool. And there's some holographic leaves. I'll add those to my sticker collection. And actually, the lady that was de-stashing this had two different sets. She had a Harry Potter set. And this is a, the um, Wizard of Oz set. I was like two minutes too late for the Harry Potter set. Um, so this is the Wizard of Oz set. And let's see. The scents are Pink Chiffon, Witch's Brew, Scarecrow, Ruby Slippers, Emerald City, and Aunt M's Quilt. I don't want to open them all up and smell all of them. So let's just do this one. Aunt M's Quilt. So we're in these little, in these little containers. And see, it's just a very little bit of putty there. Um, it smells like laundry detergent, which I guess that makes sense. It's a quilt smell, right? Let's see what Emerald City smells like. Again, it's, it's all the same color. It's just, you know, a glob of stuff. That, what does that smell like? Emerald City. I don't know how to describe what that smells like. It doesn't stink, but I can't quite put my finger on it. Okay, all right, I lied. Let, I gotta smell them all now. So let's just keep going. Let's see, Scarecrow. Cute little stickers. I have no idea what that smells like. It has like a fallish smell. It doesn't stink. So I guess I'm glad for that. Ruby slippers. Oh, that's cinnamon. Oh, that smells divine. I really like ruby slippers. That smells good. Let's see. And witch's brew. Oh god. Okay, that no. Ooh, that one I can't do. That is a scent. I don't know technically what it is, but it, it reminds me of like, I call it peppery smell. Um, it gives me my in, migraines. So, um, unfortunately I'm probably going to have a migraine tonight, but I did it to myself. So witch's brew is a no, no, I cannot do witch's brew. Pink chiffon. I am worried about because if it's floral, I can't do that either. Okay. No, it's not floral. It's a very, very light feminine type scent. It's very, very faint, but it's, it's pleasant. So I like them all except for that witch's brew. That is, that is a no, no. And it looks like I got a bonus piece of hair. So that's cool. <laughs> I can't tell you how many people have gotten pin packages from us that have dog hair in them. So a little bonus gift, you know, um, so, what I'll probably do is just ask in my shop Facebook group if anybody wants that witch's brew. Or might ask a friend if they want it to try. Because I definitely cannot handle it. No, ma'am. I copy Laura. Say, no, ma'am. <laughs> okay, let me just actually set this to the side over here. Okay, next up. Let's open this one. This I bought from 
she's a pin turner and her name's Lisa, but I can't remember her business name. Oh, I'm sorry. Ugh. I can't remember. Tag on it. I haven't gotten a pin from her yet. But she also does resin work. And she makes those really cool. You may have seen them. They're like trays that look like feathers for you to sit your pen in. And she posted some for sale in that uh, the DP Pen Obsession group. So I jumped on one. She had like four or five different ones. And I jumped on this one. I think I was the lucky I got lucky and I was the first one to comment on her post. So I got to have my choice. So that's always exciting, isn't it? <laughs> but you know, I love supporting other small businesses as often as I can. So long as I have, you know, I need to have a plan for the item. Um, I've got my eye on a couple of other things. One non-DP related thing. Um, but I haven't quite worked it all out yet. I will eventually when my brain calms down. So this is wrapped very well. Oh my God, look how beautiful. Oh, it's glittery. I didn't even realize it was glittery, but look. And it's a, a resin tray. It's very nice. This is the base. Okay, I can see the resin has come up a little bit. So there's kind of like a... You see that right there? Kind of a lip. But you can um, remove that with a little box cutter very carefully. I have to do that on the Carolina sometimes. That's just that's just part of the deal with working with resin. Um, as it heats up to start curing, it contracts or it shrinks. And that is part of the result that you get. So it's not a big deal. It's just part of the game. But look how beautiful and sparkly. Oh my God. So yeah, you have your tray sitting there, and let me see, which pin do I want to put in here? <laughs> let's, let's take a look at this one. This is one of my pins that I got from um, Chroma Pins. Let's see, and just set it right in there. And so long as this doesn't go anywhere, you know, your pin can't roll off the table. Isn't that beautiful? Look, there's a theme here, don't you see? <laughs> but I really, really like this feather tray. That is so cool. It's so, I love it. Mm. She had one that had these flowers in it, these dried flowers, and it was gorgeous. But I went for this one first. So I very, very much love that. As soon as I diamond paint again um which maybe i'll get to tonight i don't know um i'm going to make sure i put that to use and get rid of the trash okay next up <clears throat> we'll just do this one again these are in no type of order because you know i was holding on to stuff i placed an order with t-mall dp with sparklers because the painting I'm working on right now is my craftably uh, Bunny Loving Bethany. And I wanted to add a little bit more blue to jazz her up some. Because I started working on her from the top. So I've done the first full row. And I got some of her hair done. And I thought, well, goodness, I'd like her hair to be a little bit more sparkly. So... I just went on to t -Mall's website and took a look around. So I got some mermaid. I'm just going to have to play around and see what I like to go into the painting. Caribbean. And I know there's one place at the bottom of the canvas that I'm going to make all sparklers. Metallic blue. That's a dark blue. It's really pretty. So yeah, I got a lot of blues and some other Neon Blueberry. This color actually is going to, I think, pretty clo closely be an even swap out um, for one of the other diamonds. But then, uh, there is pink in there, in the bunny's ears and stuff. So I got some Opal Carnation Glow Glass. That's beautiful. So I thought that would be a nice touch. 
what else did I get? Okay, Opal Sky Glow Glass. Again, this is a very, very light blue color that would fit on there. Oh, I ordered more than I realized. <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> okay, this is, oh, hold on. <clears throat> okay, this is Ocean. So maybe I just like went through and bought all the blues. Peacock, love this one. And Hummingbird. So yeah, I think that's exactly what I did is I just went through and bought like all the blues and a pink. Um, so I'll have to experiment some with my canvas to see which ones I want to swap out. Let me see, here's my receipt, my, my packing slip, checklist. And you know what? My last order, I forgot to go and, and register. <laughs> There's a sparkler sticker. And you're fearless. Well, thank you. I wish I was fearless. <laughs> I try to be. Let me see. Okay, yeah. So I got nine items. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. And Ren packed by order. Okay, awesome. Super excited, so I'm going to keep these close because I need to look through and decide which ones I can add in and, you know, what areas I want to put them. Um, so, yes, we did just start selling a few specialty um, crystal diamonds in our own shop, but I will still shop with Timo. So long as she'll have me, you know. <clears throat> We've got more things coming. <laughs> got a lot of plans in the works. We're just, you know, progress is a slow-moving machine. What's that Blanche Devereaux line? It's a piece of slow-moving, antiquated machinery. <laughs> ah, okay, next box. Well, actually, the next two. Let me make sure it's both of these. I think it is. Pretty sure. Turn them upside down. Um, yes, both of these are 100% hands down not my fault. <laughs> I am blaming Tracy Strand over at Tig's Trays for both of these purchases. Okay. She has a YouTube channel. I will link down below. And I was watching a video where she unboxed some really, really cool looking stuff. And I thought, well, I don't want to be left out. <laughs> so I went shopping. And it was very hard to decide, but I did decide. And I'm kind of bummed out because I'm like a stalker. Because I've been trying to, you know, I keep going back and visiting this Etsy shop. And I missed a release that they had, and it was an awesome one. But this is for Fairy Dust Clay. All right, and let me see. I'm going to have to read this more in, in depth a little bit later. Um, they're, they're made out of clay, and it, this okay, it's a care card. It tells how to take care of it, and it t makes sure that it, it tells you it is not edible and it's not a toy but I am gonna play with it kind of so oh my gosh I forgot she does this little <laughs> little styrofoam hearts <laughs> how cute is that that's really cute let me see okay this uh, okay this is a freebie because I did not buy this one let me see if I can move it. So you can see. There it is. It's just a little girl. Isn't she cute? And it's got her business card in there. So I can probably pay this forward to someone. I want to get into the meat and potatoes in here. Just What's this? This is my... Oh, it's my packing slip. Okay. So hold on. I don't want to make a mess for those... 
styrofoam hearts now. Okay, so we got styrofoam hearts down there in the pretty pink tissue paper. Then we have this thank you sticker and that little, I guess that's maybe part of, yeah, that's her little logo, her little, her little character, because see, it's here on the care card too. So that's really nice goes with the theme of her packaging. Okay, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Okay, this is my second order. Alright, you guys. As soon as I saw these, like, I, I went nuts. Okay. We have a Maleficent Mermaid. Now, I this is kind of bombing, bummy, with the glitter coming off of her. Because I don't want to make a mess. So, what I'm I don't know if I'm going to be able to seal that, or I might just have to not use her. What what I'm going to do, because of Tracy, is glue a magnet onto the back. And cover minders is my idea. But with this one having the glitter coming off, I'll probably just use this one strictly as a magnet. But isn't she gorgeous? Oh my god, I had to have her. And then here we had this one. It is a butterfly, Maleficent. You see her wings back there? And her little smexy legs. But isn't she cute? She's holding a little pearl and she's got her eyes closed. She's all sultry. Yeah, she's got glitter coming off of her too. I think these are like for hair bows or something. But she had all kinds, all kinds, you guys. There's like so many different ones. Like hundreds of these things. Alright, and then I saw the Tiana's. Oh my god, look. How adorable. It's like baby Tiana. Isn't she so cute? And then this one. And look, I mean, the little frog. I mean, come on. Can we just appreciate the cuteness here? And then this one. She's on a horse. How adorable. She's wearing her tiara. Yeah, these don't have glitter. Well, there's a little glitter right there. But I need those for when I work on my um, Bayou, La Bayou Princess. Um, or is it called Bayou Lady? You know, the big Mandy Manzano 500 foot long diamond painting of Tiana. That one. And mm, my Maleficent ones I was going to use when I work on my Lizzie Falcon Maleficent from TSA. So, let's see what's in this second box. This is, okay, those were my second order. So, this box must be my first order. Yeah, I, I had to go back for more. I couldn't, um, I couldn't stay away. Um, but yeah, she's got a lot of the villains. She's got a lot of the princesses. And a whole bunch of other types of things, too. It's not just, you know, Disney characters on this website, on this Etsy shop. Okay, so again, we have a care card. Tissue paper. Oh, here we got another freebie. What's this one? What's this one? Oh, it's a zebra! Look how cute! Oh, I really like that one. That's super cute. Okay, another packing slip. More styrofoam hearts. I really like these. They're super cute. I mean, it's, these are like styrofoam, styrofoam. It'd be super cool if she could get these or make these out of that styrofoam that's biodegradable. Like, you just have to put water on it and they dissolve. That would be super cool if she could do that with those because, I mean, yeah, they're really cute and everything, but I'm not going to do anything with them. So they're going in the trash and, you know, that's kind of a little unfortunate, but, so maybe biodegradable ones. Oh, okay, and there's a different sticker on this one. It's got her company name. What does that say? Oh, it says Art in Clay, Handcrafted with Love. Wow, I could barely read that. But I got it read. I figured it out. Alright, so... Okay, this is my first order. Oh, dang it, she's got glitter all over her, too. Shoot. This is another Maleficent, another Maleficent mermaid. 
Isn't that beautiful, though, you guys? Like, I'm obsessed with these things. They're gorgeous. Oh, okay. All right. And then this is uh, Rapunzel. Let me see if that's Pascal. And then, of course, we have a Snow White. Beautiful, beautiful. And I found a couple Ariels. Look at that one. Oh, she fancy. She's sparkly in her tail, and she's got pearls and stuff in her hair. And there's flounder. Oh, she's gorgeous. And then this one, this is like a younger Ariel. She's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. So this is my uh, new obsession. And it's totally not my fault. It's totally Tracy's fault. So if you find yourself enabled by these as well, blame Tracy, okay? I will put her information down below in the um, description box. So you can go over to her channel and let her know how much you appreciate being, her showing these and getting you enabled to make purchases from this shop. But seriously, guys, these things are just so adorable and so beautiful. And they're, you know, these took time to, to create. And she sells out fast. Like, there's the one I told you where she made a drop, but I missed it. I missed it by two hours. It was Harry Potter ones. Two hours, and they were gone. They were probably gone a lot quicker than two hours. But when I got on Etsy, they were dropped two hours before I got on there. So, what a bummer. But yeah, so go to this shop. Give it a like or a heart so you can follow it and get the notifications, hopefully, when she posts more. Because I'm telling you guys. And they're not very expensive. Like, hold on. Let me, um, let me open up Etsy real quick here on the, uh, on the old laptop. So, I can give you an idea of what I pay. Oh, crap. That's the wrong button. Wrong button. My bad. Purchases. Okay. Okay. Like, one of the Maleficents was $10. One of the Tiana's was $7. One of the Tiana's was $13. One Maleficent was $11. So, they vary in price depending upon the size and the work that goes into them. But they're just so doggone beautiful. Like, I seriously, I, I want to collect all of her stuff. Um, let me see how many listings she has in her shop right now. There's 228 items in her shop right now. 172 of them are these, um, figurines. Oh my God, there's a new Maleficent. Oh my God, there's a Wonder Woman. Oh, oh, Harry Potter's back. Hold on, hold on. Bye now. The things I do in the name of research. I tell you. I couldn't help it. They were back in stock. Had to get them. Oh my gosh. There is um, Belle from Beauty and the Beast. She was sold out before. They've got Anna and Elsa. Oh man. They're just absolutely gorgeous. Mario and Luigi. There's a Buzz Lightyear. Like you guys have got to check them out. So adorable. Okay. That's enough of that. I need to quit looking. All right. So these next two things might not be very interesting to some folks, but I'm hoping this is going to kind of um, meet my expectations. These are two items I bought. I bought from Etsy. You know, I want to support other Etsy shops, but they're for our Etsy shop is, is my idea. Um, so this might be something that if you have a small business you may be interested in as well. You just have to let me know. <laughs> Alright. Um, I 
continuously trying to find ways to improve the photography of our pens. Um, right now, they're pretty, and they're, it's working, but it's very similar to some other ones. So, I'm still wanting to update. Oh, wait, what? No, oh, this is not what I thought. Pen blanks? Oh. <laughs> okay, never mind. I totally forgot that I had ordered these. Okay, so, well, here I'll show you the pen blanks. <laughs> these pretty colors with some pine cones. And then these things look really cool. Oh, this is, this is not... You hear that sound? That is not pen turning resin. Damn, that sucks. That kind of resin that makes this sound, it chips pretty bad. Damn, that sucks. And then this one, up, it looked pretty. There's, It's like teal and aqua with some gold flake in there. Well, crap. Alright, well, now that I'm looking like a doofus, where did those come from? Washington. Well, it sure, sure enough wasn't what I thought it was going to be. Well, dang on. Huh. Okay. But this one is. <laughs> At least I hope. At least I hope. Because I really would like to start taking new staged photos of our pins each week. Yes. Oh, okay. Yes. This is it. Ooh. Okay. It is a handmade letter board. That's gorgeous. Nice and smooth. Here, let me get this out of the way. Let me go over there. And then what's this here? Oh, you're the best. Thanks. Thank you for supporting my little shop. Each item is carefully designed. I hope you enjoy your order. It means so much if you would share the love on social media. And please tag me on Instagram. Okay, cool. Yeah, that's a really nice little card. And this... Okay, this little bag is to put all the letters in. Okay, awesome. So, I've got my board. I've got my bag for the letters. And they even, like, just added this little touch of um, a twine bow around the letters, which is totally unnecessary, but very, very nice. Nice little addition. And let's see, it's there's two sheets. I'll call it a sheet of these letters. But we've got letters and numbers and some emojis and stuff. Like here's a snowflake, there's a heart, there's a um, pound sign, there's a euro sign, a check mark, an arrow, there's a sun, there's an X. Oh, there's a thumbs up. Cool. Then we've got music notes. We've got an angry face, a happy face, a star, a flower, an at sign, a face with heart eyes, and there's a winky face. Oh, there's a music note. There's a yen. Is that, that's yen, I think. So, my idea is, I'm not going to use a lot of these, but for this board, to have it in the background, and maybe put, like, our shop name over here, and then, like, the pin number and the size of it over here, and kind of, like, lay the pin like in the middle of it like this so maybe I don't know if we could put our shop name in here if we'd have enough room or not I might, I might have to be kind of offset you know I don't know, I'll have to play around with it and figure it out some this is beautifully made I'm really happy with this so this is one I actually bought two um with the intention of trying to compare well, kind of trying to compare, but also um, 
Okay, that's this one. This one costs me, it costs me almost $45, but it's from Canada. Oh, wait, now this one says it was delivered, but I don't, I'm missing the package. That's why I thought that other box that was actually pin blanks was my other wooden letter board. It's a smaller one. It's square. It's like five by five. I am missing a package. Hmm. I'll have to check the front porch and see if it's there. Um, I did get an order of, of glitter in, but, uh, yeah, one of the packets of glitter bust open in the box and got all over. The USPS put the whole box in a bag, and there was just neon pink glitter everywhere. It was such a mess. Hmm. All right, well, I need to go so I can go and try and track down this other package. So, if I can find it, I'll come back and add it onto here. But if not, thanks for watching my horrible shopping behavior. Um, tune in next week to see what else I bought because there's more. Oh, I didn't even open my Scentsy order. I ordered a bunch of um, scent bars from Ruby Q and I tore it open as soon as it got here. I'm telling you, it's bad y'all. Send help. No, don't really send help. I don't need help. Um, send, send money. <laughs> Okay, that was rude. Don't send money. I'm just joking. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to y'all later. Okay. I found it. <laughs> I put it in a perfectly logical place so that it would be easy for me to find. And, um, yeah. Um, that's not how a hoarder's brain works. Just just so everybody knows. Organization. It, it, it um, it, it makes me more confused. I put it in a perfectly, like I said, perfectly logical and sensible location right beside the light box where I take the pictures, and I couldn't find it. I even, I, I'm going to have to message the, the shop owner back because I even messaged, and I was like, um, so the tracking shows this was delivered, but I can't find it, so would you, you know, tell me what the packaging looked like so I can look for it better, and oh my god like a doofus okay so it was just in that clear or clear oh my goodness gracious it was in this this thing this um mailer okay but it's wrapped in bubble wrap and protected and we've got this really nice thank you sticker let's open this up and then we have ooh, i like the black tissue paper i like that i'm getting you know, October vibes, and, you know, from the darkness, I love the darkness, okay, and so here, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, look at this, look at how cute, okay, we've got another bag to keep my letters in, here is the board, and as I mentioned, it is smaller, this is only a 5x5, five five. look at how cute, it's so tiny, I love it, I love it. And then look. Look at how little the letters are. Oh my god. So full disclosure, this is technically, you know, she she advertises it as like to do your baby photos like one month, two months, three months, you know, and all like that. But yeah, but can see there's one that says baby. But I'm going to use it for the shop. You can see here it's, that says months and then party. Celebrate. Oh, there's some hearts. There's some more hearts and stars. Really, really cool. But the letters are smaller. Because look. Here's, here's the big board. And then here's the little board. So what I might do. What I'm going to try to do. Is in the light box that the lovely Pippa Brown gave us. I will put our shop name back here on this big one and then I'll kind of stage it so this one's a little bit more in the foreground and it has the specific details on the particular pin and then somehow I'll position the pin to be in the photo you know like I said I'm gonna have to play around with it and figure it out to see what works the best 
But there it is right there, like a doofus, sitting on my shelf where it belongs the whole time. All right, so that is it. That is all of the purchases that have come in um, for the last week. I have at least one more that I know of that I'll be able to share with you. Um, and I'm really, really excited for that. I just don't know when it'll be here yet. Um, it has shipped out, though. So maybe by the end of this week. I don't know. We'll see. So that is my haul for the last little while. And um, until we meet again, my friends.